Welcome to Fourth Dimension Tarot. If you found me, there's probably a purpose in the message that you need to hear. What do the cards have to say? So far on the table, we have the Knight of Wands. Next to it is the King of Wands. Wands uh, represent passion, intense, uh, a lot of activity. Uh, the Four of Pentacles. Next card out is the Four of Swords. Next card out is the Five of Wands. It's good to see a king on the table, though. Next couple of cards out, the Flu out. We have the Hierophant. We have the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Wands. Mm, cards do not want to move. They're just stuck to the table. The Five of Swords. One more, please. One more, please. Oh, there we go. And the Two of Cups. It's got to be in the air. I'm telling you. It's still, it's still a little bit. We have a couple more days, I think, in Mercury retrograde, and uh, we have a past, uh, we have a past wanderer coming back, past Leva. Um, and on the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Swords. So remember, wands, right? Passionate action. Knights are movement, action, right? They're coming in, and uh, this past energy is wanting to come in and have a conversation, a very passionate conversation. Um, and when you have a, the knight paired up with a king, that's a good thing. It's not going back to a page. So the king of wands um, is somebody who is honest, is compassionate, is loving, is kind, giving. Um, so this is kind of like, I always call it the adolescent king. <laughs> It's kind of funny because, you know, the night I want is, you know, okay, in and out energy. Yeah, in and out energy. More mature energy. His dad, maybe, or older brother, uncle, any of them. Um, but these guys, uh, the kings of wands, are sincere. And it's more of a mature relationship where the night of wands is a Saturday night when you're, like, in your 20s. So... Next to the king is the four of pentacles. The four of pentacles, it, you know, it, I, I, I resonate with the four of pentacles. Um, it, pentacles are our opportunities, our resources, our money, our, our whatever. This person's holding, every, he's standing on two, he's holding one and one's on his head. He's guarding himself with his pentacles. So he's preparing also he's not guarding is maybe a bad word but he's preparing he's holding on to him he's investing he's saving his little pennies for a rainy day he's holding on to him um but that's that's a great idea so this king of wands is currently focusing on on building his wealth um he the reason why i say is mercury retrograde the knight and the kings is this card the four of swords the Four of Swords typically represents somebody in meditation. It's a meditative state. It's a little different than the hangman. And it's, um, he's guarded. See the one here laying down and the three up, but he, nobody's gonna fight. Nobody's gonna argue. Nobody's gonna um, come attack him. He's in his mind and it's all in his mind. His anxiety and his, and his concern is in his mind. Um, however, the Five of Wands over here this is an argument. This is um, an altercation. It looks like with several people, I think we have four on the card. Yeah, five on the card, of course, five. And so there's a there's a disgruntled, it could be a disgruntled mass, but I think, you know, my, my intuition is that this Knight of Wands or King of Wands is having an argument with several friends, maybe family, um, about whomever, we're not sure. There's no... There's no female energy yet on the board. Could be just in his mind. The Hierophant. I like this card. It, it means tradition. Um, being raised in a religious home when I was a child. This reminds me of every Sunday, uh, or every Sunday, Wednesday night, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, Friday, because I went to that kind of high school uh, or middle school. And um, you can see the two people here. But there's also, you know, there's also a, a connotation of repentance right when I see the Hierophant it's not just it's not just 
tradition and religious, but it's almost like forgiveness. I need to, I need to repent for some things I've done. And so that is right below the Knight of Wands. Ironic. Um, that the knight would want some forgiveness for some of his past actions. Uh, below the king of wands is the ten of cups. Now, again, this is my, I call it my Disney card, the ten of cups. Let me show you up front. See the, we have a male and a female couple, and then we have, uh, little kids over here and cute little city. And over here, water represents emotion in, in Tarot. So when you see the river of, um, emotion, it's balanced. It's, it's, there's no tsunami, nothing like that. It's just a beautiful picturesque sight that you get on a postcard, right? That's the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is bliss, it's happiness. And I've said this before, but I've known really healthy marriages um, that are balanced and equal give and take, and the most happiness they might have is seven, you know, and this is the 10. So this King of Wands is identifying, we're gonna find out who, um, is identifying his, his uh, partner, as um his ten of cups his ten of cups uh so when we go and we look at the next the next card which i pulled it's a four remember saving up for a rainy day um is below that is the ace the ace of wands aces are new beginnings so what that tells me is this king has made a decision and he's moving forward that's the knight moving forward in investment to prepare a way and make um an offering to whomever, because she isn't on the deck yet, um, or on the table yet, um, a passionate new beginning. And it's passion. You know, I have, there's a couple of readers that I love that say it's the male phallical is the representation of the wand. Okay. Um, but that, that gives you good in understanding of there's intent. There's, there's a commitment coming. Um, right below, this is what he's stuck in his head about. We talked a little bit about this, the four swords, he's meditating, he's stuck in his head, he's a little bit of anxiety. To confirm that and validate what I just said is the five of swords. Now, this is not wanting to argue, it's, it's a bit deceptive, right? He, he, there's some dirt that's been happening in the background and he might've gotten, he might've lied a lot. Um, but there is, there's an argument that took place and he's, he's holding himself, he's defending himself. So he fears, he fears that there might be an argument with whomever about some of the shady things that he needs to ask for forgiveness for. Um, right below, I, and this goes back to the, the argument below this card is the two, two of cups and cups in tarot is, um, emotion, love, uh, usually love, usually love. It could be family relationship. I don't think in this reading it is. I think it's with a partner or a soon to be partner or a want to be partner. And the two of cups is one, you know, handing the cup to the other one. And hopefully the cups are full with love that there is an equal exchange to. This is concern that the person that he's offering the cup to is going to end up in an argument. <laughs> I just want to know what he did. That's really what I'm just nosy at this point. I just want to know what, if you're walking in my house and you're offering me this wonderful King of Wands relationship, um, passionate new beginning, 10 of cups, why would I get mad at you? You know, unless uh, you deserve it, right? So let's find out. Spirit, give me a few cards to explain what is going on here. That one wanted to come out. He didn't jump. I only, I, I like the jumpers. There's one. Uh, there's another one. Can I have a few more? Thank you. Three, four. Can I have a few more, please? Oh, five. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, and this is fantastic. This is fantastic. I hope I get a reading like this. Man, oh, my goodness. Anything else you want to share, Spirit? All right. That's it. That's enough. Okay. The jumpers that came out. We have the Knight of Cups. Cups, remember? Love. Knights, movement. This is a knight. Not quite an emperor but good enough right now. So the Knight of Cups is wanting to come in and have a conversation, wanting to get things going again, um, wanting to get some movement. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. There's a lot going on here. Um, and I can't, I can't even, I can't even make this up. Uh, so let's just fly through these real quick and I'll kind of give you the skinny. You all have things to do, laundry to get done, etc. cetera. Um, so we have, Here's the cards. And there's two more on, on the 
it'll, here's the whole spray, the ones that flew up. So we're gonna fly through this. Uh, first one is the um, High Priestess. So the High Priestess, I love this card. She's very spiritual, right? She's all about justice. Um, she is judgment, really, and, it, and it's intuition. It's spiritual judgment. So this uh, King of Wands identifies his uh, partner as the High Priestess. Very intuitive, very insightful, um, very in touch with the divine. You know, he, there's a death card. The death typically means death, so a rebirth can happen, which makes sense in the in the frustration and the and the karma conversations that need to occur about the previous shady business. So the death is, he recognizes that, you know, only through the divine and an honest conversation and asking for forgiveness, he can start a new beginning um, with his, uh, with his empress, which leads us to the King of Swords. King of Swords is, I, I call it my CEO card. He, um, he's determined. He's very um, detailed. He's very, organized. He um, is strategic. He's strategic. So, but they're honest. He's, he's not messing around. This is a, um, an honest conversation that's coming forward. Um, truth is swords. It's also communication. Um, so I also look at the, the last few cards that came out to kind of explain what's going on here. Right now, he wants to work on this relationship with his, I am going to assume Empress, or maybe a queen, maybe a queen of cups, but um, I haven't pulled that card yet, but that's what I'm assuming, is we have, look at that, look at this, raggeded, just hustling, man, this guy, he can't even afford socks, he has to wear tights, poor guy. Uh, he hasn't had a shower in like a week. My point being is he's hustling, he is hustling, he's probably eating out every day, you know. So this guy is, if he has time, this guy, is hustling to save his pennies, right? To start the new beginning. He's afraid of the conversation. He doesn't want it to go south. He sees, uh, he knows it's gonna take strength, every fiber of strength. Now, the reason why I also said Empress, this is the Empress. This is the pre-Empress. See the, the infinity symbol right here? When you see the Empress card, this is her. And she's just petting a lion. I love lions. I love them. I love them. I actually have a tattoo on my arm. I know, TMI. But my point being is the strength there. It's, it's going to require every fiber of his being to eat crow, own it, the stuff he did, if he wants, he, wa he wants his Disneyland. He sees her as a star. The star is, a, it represents a few things. One, it's wishes granted. This is, she is his wish that he wants granted. But more importantly, it's, it's, well, I guess not more importantly, but in addition to, he is also going on to the next level. This is, um, you surpassed the goal. The goal was leveling up. And he he's going to, after he talks to her and they have a conversation, that's his goal. He wants to level up with her. Um, last two cards that I pulled is the Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. This is Honeymoon. You know, so the, the four of wands is wedding. It's long-term commitment. Um, the, the whole story of Tarot is, is a passage. It's the lifetime passage, the walk through the many cycles of a lifetime. And the goal is to get to this castle, right? And it's home. That's your home. And so in the, in the four of wands, it's finding your partner that you want to go do that and celebrating a glorious wedding. We've got a couple people here eating cake, you know, enjoying the, the beautiful, but they're having a celebration and that's what his wish is. The 10 of Pentacles is, as you can see, this, this gentleman right here, enjoying his family. Um, he has arrived. It's like, um, jackpot. It's, it's winner, winner, chicken dinner kind of money. Um, steak, not hot dogs kind of, kind of deal. So this guy is seriously investing and he is, um, he is wanting to have a new relationship and he's already moving forward. He's, the cards are telling me he's already made up his mind. He's made a decision. He's moving forward regardless, doesn't know when the conversation is going to happen, but he needs to be prepared personally in order to have that relationship start. He doesn't feel prepared because he doesn't quite have all the stuff. But if he does, she might forgive him and open her heart uh, for a future. Bottom of the deck is uh, Ten of Wands. Again, 
look at this guy, burdened, mostly mentally, but he can't carry one more stick. It's the death of the wands. That's great. When you get to 10, you get to drop the wands. He's ready to drop it. He doesn't want to fight anymore. He doesn't want to deal with this anymore. He wants to go forward and have a conversation. I'm just going to peek. I know I've already kept you two. Oh, look at that. I split the deck. There's my empress. Can't make it up. I love this. I love tarot. I love it. Spirit guides, is there anything else you want to share regarding this reading? Um, the empress is representation of all four queens. Like, I love it when I hear it. I'm a queen. You're a queen. Adjust your crown. I'm like girl stop i'm all for y'all <laughs> the only reason you're sitting in that chair is i got up you know what i mean so that's <laughs> that's what i see for the empress the empress knows her stuff she she isn't she doesn't have to have an attitude she just knows she knows her worth and it took him a while it took this night a long time to identify from the pra the passage of this uh guy's I mean, right now we have four. We have the King of Wands, the King of Swords, the Knight of Cups, uh, the Knight of Wands, uh, the Star Card. I mean, we have Strength, uh, Death, Ace of Wands, High Priestess. Half of, over half are um, Major Arcana cards. And Major Arcana cards represent pivotal changes in the timeline and in a person's life. It's like God, divine, fingerprints all over that moment, divinely led. So this is a... Uh, not just a decision this gentleman or this person is making, but it's more of a um, epiphany, spiritual experience, change in the in the makeup of his thinking. So it's not just I bought a new pair of tennis shoes and I joined a gym. This is a lifestyle change, and and it is behavior modification without therapy, maybe with therapy. I don't know. But I get the sense that um, his his higher power, his divine entity, his czar of the heavens, showed up and answered his prayer and said, "You want you want this awesome relationship? You got to be the change you want to see in it. Get your tennis shoes." So lastly, I have nothing's coming out. Yeah. I'm just now randomly pulling. So I got a page of cups. He's going to have a conversation about the Knight of Pentacles. And I got the Four of Cups as well. So the Four of Cups is, um, it's almost like we had this in a previous reading too. Maybe I'm pulling some of that energy. Is um, this this young person, this person here sitting. And um, again, cups are love. So there's there's a cup that passes him. And he's got his arm crossed, legs crossed, his whole demeanor is saying, oh, thank you. Mm -mm. Um, but there's three here that he's kind of interested in. Only to find out later in the reading, of course, yesterday, um, they pass up the cup, but then came back to it and going, you know what? <laughs> that cup's looking pretty good. Uh, there is no, nothing greater than the Empress out there. I've looked, can't find her. And uh, they're shallow, you know. So that is the majority of the reading. I wanna get a couple of love messages out here because why not? It's a love reading, right? This is fun stuff. Um, this is from the Lover's Oracle. Fun, fun. Ooh, hello. So can you give me a few lo love messages? That's a jumper. Don't wait for me, please. So I do feel like he just started the journey. It's going to take him a while. And he doesn't know what he wants. I mean, he does. He wants his empress, but I don't think he knows how much it's going to take. If I could go back in time, I would handle us differently. Can you see that? Next card is, what is the truth? This love is crazy. So, and on the bottom is these feelings are eating me alive. So I feel like he's in a lot of mental turmoil, which we saw um, with the five of, of wands. He doesn't want to have a fight, um, but he does know that he loves, he loves his empress. I cry at night. I think there's a lot of remorse, a lot of guilt, a lot of shame. I can't make you happy, a lot of fear. He, I feel like my what I actually am pulling the energy, and it's really heavy, is that he um, doesn't measure up. I wish I could be a different person. Uh, you deserve better. He doesn't measure up. He doesn't measure up. You are so different than everyone around me. It's that four cups, right? I, I passed it by. Now it's looking pretty darn good. Um, and then uh, it's, it's just challenging, I think, for this person to look in remorse, um, painful, painful memories. I am stuck in visions of us together. So this guy, like I said, in his head a lot. Um, so what's going to happen, Spirit? I'm going to go, or better yet, better yet. I hope I post this. This is just random. Um, 
Spirit, what would he say to her? You matter. So I get the sense that this Divine Feminine, we'll just call her that, this uh, Pre-Empress maybe, um, she maybe because of it, I just get that with the Knights on the table, he in and out, young, adolescent, right? He just wasn't sure what he wanted. You make my heart full. Now he does, but she doesn't know that. They're not together. He hasn't come forward. So she is wondering. You have so many choices and options. So he knew he blew it. I want you. Two more cards, please. Okay. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. Aces are new beginnings. He's coming in. He wants to he wants to present the cup with a conversation. Pages or communication. I don't know what the fish is about. I don't know. Maybe that was a flowers back. I don't know. I did really trout are great. Walleye is even better. I'm just saying. Um, I need more balance. And so I just feel like he's not quite it's I, there's another reading. Steven. Steve is a great um, reader. Love the man. But he says it's an undercooked chicken. <laughs> you don't want to eat any undercooked chicken. And he's not quite the emperor. He's a king and he's just got out of the wands energy and he's maturing, but he's not quite an emperor. He's an undercooked chicken, but he desperately wants to offer her his cup, his cup of love. And we'll see how it goes. That is your reading today. Hope you can relate. If you enjoyed this or at least found it entertaining, uh, please hit the like um, button. And um, I love the comments, y'all. I have been, I am so happy and grateful for uh, the tribe that I am, um, that I'm joining here on uh, YouTube. So uh, thanks for your support. Thanks for your love. Thanks for your well wishes. Um, until we see each other again, love and light.